Nancy here, back at it again with another one. This one here is a quick one. A lot of you guys pointed out the issues that I'm going to have with this brake system. I said I had a 4 to 1 system in this car, brake ratio was. Uh, when I come to really check it and really look at what it was, it was a 3.71 ratio is what was in this for brake pedal. That had to be fixed. So I've after going through everything here, making a bunch of changes to it all here now. It doesn't go through, it had to go through the firewall. I got full stroke on the pedal and I got a six to one ratio. Stick around. In my last video, I turned around and I went and rigged up this booster and done that panel down there and I had this all jerry rigged up and changed a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, I got a lot of good responses on the geometry on uh, brake pedal assemblies and between you guys, I've done some research, had some of my friends uh, point some stuff out to me, um, that what I got going on here is not going to work, okay? And what I mean by that is the ratio that's going on there. I got to figure something out here now. Uh, the pedal is where I want it to be in terms of positioning in the car. That's where I like the pedal to be. I can't have it back this way no farther because, uh, you know, I'm a tall guy and I got this set up. I'm set pretty well in the back of this now. And any higher than this and the pedal is going to be awkward to work with. Okay. When I sit in this car now where the pedal is to, it's comfortable. Uh, the firewall is where it is. What I got to figure out now is I got to figure out geometry to get this pedal up to like six to one, okay? I think right now it's four to one, the pedal ratio itself. I'm gonna take it out and double check everything. I did have the hole drilled up high and uh, it was it would have worked, but I'm curious to see what that ratio was. Um, so I'm gonna turn around now, take this out and uh, lay it over on the bench again and really start sizing things up here i'm going to take a bunch of measurements here now of where the pedal is to in reference to the firewall um the floor the height of it all that type of stuff that way i'll have a reference when i take it out and i reference off something else i know where the pedal should be for it to be comfortable for me right so it's been a long time since i played around brake assembly stuff and it's like everything else stuff just goes out of your head i fooled around with a lot of this years ago when i done my tea bucket and uh, I went through all the geometry and figuring it all out. And it's been a long time since I actually done any of this stuff again. And I just need a refresher between you guys now and uh, what I've actually figured out. Uh, it's worked out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to address this now and haul this all out and see if we can get a good ratio on this pedal. Now, before I get started on haul and bring apart, there's a few things i got to point out here, okay? One of the things is the height of the pedal. The pedal, how far it is off the floor in reference to me. As you can see here now, this is a pretty tight situation. I don't find this half bad. I can push on the pedal. I got my strength and everything here to push on the pedal. I cannot have the pedal back any further than that. This is where I want the pedal to be. This is crucial in the problems that I'm having with this brake setup, okay? The other thing with it is, if you look at where the pad is to, in reference to my foot, it's in the middle of the ball of the foot, and that's where I'd like to have it. The height of the floor, is where it's at. So where you see that brake pedal to there now, that's where I'd like to have the pedal mounted when it's all said and done and the geometry and everything's done, the pedal will be right there. I can't go up, I can't go down, I can't come forward. So this is one of my limitations that I got. So I gotta address everything with that in mind. Another one of my limitations is this here, the height I can raise or lower uh, the master cylinder. In order to fix the uh, geometry on the brake pedal, what I got to do is I got to raise up the master cylinder or lower the pedal, okay? I can raise this up only so much, okay? And that's the problem. Then I'm not going to be able to get at the back side of this here. So that's another limitation I got is this height here. So just remember when I start drawing things out of my limitations of here, my height here, okay, from here to the floor, and my distance from here into the firewall itself. Those are my limitations, and I got to work within all of them. Now, I took some measurements. These measurements are going to be my base point where I'm going to start from. I took the distance from the top of the master cylinder to the cowl here, 
that will give me an idea of how high this is to this here and how much room I got to raise it up and whatnot. Uh, I took the height of the pedal from this edge here down to the floor, from this edge here into the firewall. I took that measurement. I also took the measurement from the height of the brake pedal assembly to the floor itself. So then I got a reference of everything. So I'm going to be able to draw all this out and start with that point there and then I can start building something around it. So here's what I got done. I got the entire assembly out, laid on the bench here now, and this is the position that it was in when I just had it in the car. I had two of these uh, plating systems that I got. I got them incorporated in this too because the thickness of them will change the length of the rod, which will change the angle of the pedal. So I got that all bolted together here. Now, when it talks about ratios, uh, the ratio is basically the distance from here to here, okay, and the distance from here down to the center of the pedal. Now, it's not the length of the pedal. Some people get that confused, because if this pedal was on an angle like this here, the length of the pedal will be longer than the actual point. What you do is you draw a straight line out this way here and measure down to the pedal this way. This is the distance here they're talking about, not the length of the pedal, okay? So the ratios will be like the distance from here to here. In the case of this one here, from here down to the center of the pedal is 13 inches, okay? And from here down to this point here, the distance is 3.5. This is where I started to, okay? This is 3.5. This here is the ratio, 3.71, okay? So they say you want like a, a 6 to 1, 5 to 1 or something in that range there. Now, that was the problem. Here's my problem is because of this ratio. That's no good for standard brakes, okay? That pedal is going to be extremely hard because that number is a little small, okay? I need to get like a 6.5 or greater or that type of stuff right so that's what i got to work on now when i went and drilled this hole here the first time and i done it and i measured the distance from here to here that was two and a half inches okay that was an inch smaller than this here what that did this is what i end up working out can you see that there now there you go 13 and two and a half that gave me a five uh, 5.2 now that would be the the minimum you could possibly go with that there okay that would be there uh but i would still would like to get some more out of it um like ever i've after looking at a number of sites now and everything and it just seems like this is an old system and i think it may have to do with drum brakes uh because it, it, it's a lot easier and where everybody's running disc brakes now everybody's looking to have six to one so i start playing around with moving the location of this hole up a small bit more up farther up inside this here this is how i come up with this here the two six point five so that would only be two inches down from here, okay? Which is uh, a half inch above this one here. Because right now this here is two and a half. So you come up a half inch from here and drill another hole, and that will give you my ratio. So there is a problem that runs into this when uh, you start changing the pedal. I've never come across anybody talking about it. All they talked about was ratios. You got to have it this. This is what you got to do. You got to have the mass cylinder a certain size. On top of that, uh bring up the whole point of master cylinder bore size plays a part in this as well okay this one here is a 15 16 bore um it's less than an inch it's always better to have a smaller bore size i can probably go down because these master cylinders come in different sizes i can probably go down in bore size to make it easier on the pedal but if i got the ratio there first uh i got room for that it's just a matter of changing the master cylinder if there's a problem i put a smaller master cylinder on it but if I turn around and I build this now with this setup here and then try to go down to a smaller bore size, uh, I'm limited to what I can do. So I got to get myself in a position where I got the ratio there. So then all I got to do is uh, play with the mass cylinder if I need be. But I think I should be fine. OK, now here's the dilemma I have not come across from anybody. OK, everybody talks about the pedal. Six to one, five to one, four to one and the swing on the pedal. Now, when you're uh, working these brake pedals, um, if you have brake failure, you're going to want the master cylinder or the pedal to fall to, to the floor of the car. And it'll go to the end of the master cylinder. And what I mean by that is that your stroke here should bottom out in your master cylinder when you're building it. So, you know, if you can only go halfway into the master cylinder, it causes problems with bleeding the brakes. But also, if you have a rear brake failure and your pedal falls to the floor, the other half of the master cylinder won't receive any pressure because your brake pedal is going to hit the floor. So you got to make sure that the brake pedal itself does not hit the firewall or the floor or anything like that uh, before it actually bombs out mass cylinder. And I'll show you what I mean here now. 
So here's the thing that nobody ever talks about, okay, when it comes to the brake pedal swing ratios and all that type of stuff. This here now is where the firewall will be on the car going up along here, okay? This is where the brake pedal will sit in the car now in the proper position where I got it set up. When you put your foot on the brake pedal, you can see it comes down now. It bottoms out in the master cylinder. That's hitting the master cylinder now before it gets to the floor of the car. This is what you want, okay? You don't want that to pass that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pedal ratio from here just to this hole here. That's the only thing I'm going to do, which rises up this arm here, makes the distance from here to here shorter, and I'm going to raise up the master cylinder and move it down another hole here, into this hole here, so that this here stays in line, okay? So I'm going to change all that. I'm not going to do nothing. The rod is going to stay the same length. The pedal is not going to move. I'm going to keep the pedal in the same position. And the firewall is going to stay where it's too. It's just the mass cylinder. I'm going to uh, raise it up. Now, this is upside down. That's why I'm saying raise it up. I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to move this up into this hole here. And I'm going to show you what it does when you change the ratio on a brake pedal. So, I moved the hole up one. So, I got the rod now mounted in this one here. I raised up the master cylinder from this hole to this hole here. And I bolted it all together and I put it all back together. Everything's the same. Okay, the, the pedal, everything is in the same location. We're all as two. The rod is a bit of play in the rod there now because of um, the way this is. I can move that back a small bit like that there so the pedal is a bit lower uh, in the car. So like the pedal would be here instead of here because this is where it originally was and the pedal would be here so it's a little bit lower. Uh, so you can probably pick up some of this, but it's a lot. Like there's a, a lot there. Not a lot to air compared to what's going to happen. I'll show you here now. Here is your firewall, okay? When you change the ratio and make it uh, bigger on your, I suppose, bigger, you want to call it. So I'm gone from a 3.71 uh, ratio up to a 5.2 ratio. Now, this is what I've gone up to. Well, here is my firewall. Here is the edge of my pedal. I'm passing through the firewall now. This is the something this is something that they never ever talk about. Uh like I wonder if you got a production car and the guys are changing the brake pedals and everything on it and changing the ratios. And my understanding, if you had an old pickup truck or Chevelle or Camaro, when you lost the brake sound, the pedal actually went right to the floor. It actually sunk to the floor. So if you're changing the ratios on it, what's it doing for the pedal? Like are they getting a the full stroke on the master cylinder? I don't know. But this is the problem that I'm running into. Now, I still need to lower this again another half inch and figure everything out. The problem I got is I'm limited. Like, if I raise up that master cylinder now anymore, uh, it's going to be extremely tight in the car. So I got to move the brake pedal assembly down, which changes the height of my pedal and all that type of stuff. So here's where my dilemma comes in. This is now where I got to sit down and I'm going to take the pedal off. Lay it on the bench. I'm going to set it all up first, back to original the way it was. Set it up here and draw it out on the bench, the way I got it here. And uh, start figuring out. So then I got reference points points on this here that I can say, okay, this can go here, but this can't go here. I want to draw my cowl section, my floor height, my firewall. Have all that drawn here so that when I start piecing this together, all I got to do is do the swing of the arm. And I can figure things out. I got it all drawn out on my bench top here now so I can physically see what's going on. This here is the floor, okay, in the car. This is the height of the pedal. This here is the firewall. Drawn up across here. This here is the height of the pedal here. This is how far the firewall, or the, the pedal is from the firewall. Up on top here, I got the top of the master cylinder measured from here to the floor. And I got that drawn along here. And out here, I got a measurement from here to the top of the... Uh, distributor or sorry the master cylinder this is the distance from here to the cowl okay all these measurements i got drawn up and then i went and depressed the brake pedal this is where the pedal goes to now and stops on the floor okay what i'm trying to figure out now is way of manipulating all this what i got here to make it work to stay inside this square box to get a six and a half uh pedal ratio i've been seeing things going on here now and i'm wondering hmm that might work because uh, what I want, I don't want to go raising the master cylinder up high. I would like to leave the master cylinder right there where it's too, okay? So that means lowering the pedal down, okay? When I lowers the pedal down, this here goes slower to the floor. I got to cut the pedal off and bring it back up again. But the way this pedal swings, when I cut it off, it brings the pedal back. So that means the pedal can be swing out here more. So there's a lot of things going on here. Some guys can take this here and just 
draw it on a piece of paper, divide, multiply, and all this, and figure all this out. I have to physically see what's going on, okay? Once I see what I can do, then I can modify it all for that. So my plan is now, I got these numbers uh, I already laid down here. I'm going to draw this point here, and I'm going to turn around and figure out how far this rod moves over and swings, all that type of stuff, so I can actually figure out what I can do with this brake pedal in order to get it to... Um, fit within my criteria so that I can actually get that 6 to 5 or 6.5 ratio. So I got it all taken apart and I got this little jury rig thing done up here now with a bolt and I got the center line drawn right here with the center line which would be this hole right here. I measured it off the distance and back from the firewall all that type of stuff and I come at a point and I just got this long bolt put in with a, a um, Three quarter socket, I think it is, and a washer, and I just got it laid in place here so I can actually swing it. I using the square to hold it up level. I've moved the pedal back to where it would have been bottoming out in the master cylinder, which is that line right there. Then I laid the, the, the rod in place and I held that parallel to everything because that's the way it wants. And then I drew out a line right here. So this line here will be the master cylinder bottoming out. So anywhere, anywhere along this line here is when I swings the pedal, this rod is going to have to end on this line here for it to properly work. Uh, I'm trying to do this now so I can actually see what's going on if I move the pedal down. I'm going to drop the pedal assembly down uh, the distance that I need to drop it and just to see where how far deep in the pedal has to go for um, to, to reach this here and what I can do with the pedal itself. Can I rise to, raise this up in order to pick up the difference in it if I made the rod longer? Uh, and had the pedal go out farther into the car because of the swing I can cut it off and the pedal will still be in this point here So this is what I got to figure out So I'm gonna go play with this a bit more and see what I can come up with and I'll bring you back See if I got anything solved Well now what have I got down here? What I did is I wanted to keep the master cylinder in the same location It has been the whole while I didn't want to rise it up any because you can remember before I had this distance here three and an eighth Okay that is still three and an eighth. What I did is I lowered this point down an inch and a half, okay? I lowered this down. By lowering this down an inch and a half and moving this point up an inch and a half, because there's the new hole that I put in there, uh, this here this here master cylinder stays in the same location. So then I had to redrill new holes in the platform in here to move that up. So the master cylinder is still in the same location. I had this set up now where I got it moved up a half inch. By half inch, that gives this two inches. Now, right now, in order for me to get the brake pedal not to pass through the firewall, okay, which is right here, this is the angle that it's got to be on, and that's the length of the rod, okay? When I swing this this way here, that point right there comes right here, okay? That is the point, uh, the lowest point that's going to hit. It's right here on the, on the thing. So I, I can't change this up here and bend, change this anyway or anything like that there. The problem I'm going to get into it is because this is the point here. From here, from about right here up, I can't change nothing because that's the way that's going to rest on the firewall. Uh, what I'm trying to do here now is right now, the pedal now, because it's at this position here now, it has rose up. Because I have this moved down, the, the ratio changes. Now, right now, what I got there now, right where that sits there now, that's about 11 and a half inches from the center line to there which gives me around a 5.75, 5 and three quarters of a ratio. And I want to get it back up to six at least. In order to get it to six, this is 12 right here, okay? That's an inch gone off the overall length of it. From this point here to this point here, it will be 12 inches. So I need to get the this point right here, I need to get it moved down. As you can see, I got to move it down about a half an inch. Now the problem with it is, Right here where this is too, this is where I originally had my pedal, okay? This was the bottom corner of my brake pedal. Now my brake pedal now is like four inches higher than what it was. Now I know the pedal is going to be a little bit higher. I'm thinking I'm going to have to let it be about up no more than an inch, three quarters of an inch or less is what I like to have the pedal a little bit more higher. Uh, I don't mind it this way being a little bit higher, it's just putting it up higher on my foot. Uh, but I need to get this point right here down here like I need to move it down Okay, this is what I'm at now I'm trying to figure out what to do with this lower section of the pedal um, You know, it's a thick piece of steel and 
like I'm looking at if you had heat you'd bend it and all that type of stuff I'm not getting into that you're just one I think I'm going to cut it and weld it okay so what I want to do is right here I have it marked right here I want to put a little notch in that there and I'm going to cut it right through okay and then I'm going to put it in the voice and I'm going to bend it I want to bring this down okay I'm going to cut this pedal off and move this pad over and weld it on here but I want I need more over here right now right now where this pedal is to now for that to be there there won't be very much on that pedal if I left that like that there by splitting this and bending this down I'm going to have a chunkier thick pedal on the bottom side but I'm not going to cut right through I'm just going to cut a V out of this here now about three quarters of the way through so there's still meat on the outside of the pedal so it's not like I cut the pedal clean right off and re-welded it again I'm just going to cut it and reshape the pedal okay I don't have oxygen settling in here so I can heat it and bend it okay that's all I'm going to do here now. I'm going to go off now, modify this pedal, and see if I can get it down here where I want it and get this back to uh, basically it'll be 12 to, to, to 2 is what it'll be then, which will give me a 6 to 1 ratio, which is where I want to be. So I'm going to modify this pedal right down here now and see if I can get this where I want it to be. So here's what I got done. Okay. What I did here now is I cut off the pedal. I cut this much off the pedal off the bottom side of it to start off with. And I cut the pedal clear. That was where the original pedal sat to and was welded on there, okay? I moved that up roughly about an inch and welded it back onto the pad, okay? Now, I've after cutting this now a few times, I never cut it all the way through, and I just cut it, and I start bending it and bending it. What I'm just doing here is that the pedal was over this way here, and I was just lowering the pedal is what I was doing. By lowering the pedal, it gives me my ratio back, okay? The way this is set up here now, this does not pass through the firewall. This section here touches the firewall right here. Okay. And right here, this blue line here, down here, is where, you can see this line going across here. My pedal height from here to the floor is the same. Uh, right here is where the original pedal was too. I'm about a half an inch forward into the car so the pedal is a little bit higher i wanted to get something under three quarters of an inch because i knew it had to be higher so i'm happy with that there that should work out fine for me up here now uh because i lowered the pivot point down an inch and three quarters or an inch and a half sorry uh, i gotta cut an inch and a half out of here and re-notch this here and move this up uh to sit on the pipe again because all this has moved down into the car the master cylinder still sits in the same location i didn't want to raise that up any because I had troubles getting this back uh, cylinder here, get uh, the fluid in the back of it. So I wanted to see if I can leave that where it's to. And then these mounting plates that I made, I don't have to change them. They'll still fit. Everything's fine. This whole unit has just moved down an inch and a half, which moves this point down. And I moved this up an inch and a half. This was here, and I moved it all the way up to here. Okay? So, like, everything's closer together. And that is in, still in the same location it was earlier. So now that I got all this done, I'm going to go over and do, I'm going to cut that off first, get that ready to do, cleaned up and ready so I can weld that pipe back on. But I'm going to take this now, take it all apart, take a, a trial fit in the car and see what it's like. So I got it all mounted in the car and taken some measurements from my previous measurements. One of the main ones I took was the distance from the center line, just to make sure. The center line of the bolt down to the center of the pad, center of the pedal. That's how you measure that. You measure it straight up and down. You don't measure it on an angle. And from the center of this here to here, I got 12 inches. Of course, then I got from the top bolt to my pivot point on my master cylinder, I got 2 inches. So that'll give me a 6 to 1 ratio. Um, with the pedal itself, the pedal is, I measured it off, it's 5 inches from here to the floor. So it's 3 quarters of an inch is lower. And then from here to the firewall, um, it used to be 9 and 8, and now it is 10. So it's about 3 quarters of an inch farther back this way here. And of course, the distance from the top of this here to the floor is 3 quarters of an inch lower than it was before. The master cylinder never moved. That's basically right back in the same place it was that I had it where I wanted to have it. So that's good that way. So... It took a bit of figuring out, get this, right? To size all this up, to get all the measurements right, to get the pedal where I want it, and have it comfortable and whatnot, and get, get that ratio. So, I want, you know, I want to thank a lot of you guys. To, I, there's a number of you guys pointed out, and some of you guys got re right into detail explaining about the ratio on pedals. Uh, I had to physically see it, as you've seen the way I've done this. 
I drew it out. I had to figure it all out, get the pedal and everything all that figured out. So, and that's how I built this whole system. Uh, like I'm a visual type guy, formulas, that's fine. But this chart here, uh, this is the one that I saw that really lit up to me because it was so simply done and made all the sense in the world understanding it all. Uh, like when I first did this here, um, I said it was four to one, but it wasn't. I think it was 3.71 to one ratio, which was absolutely horrible. So I got it now. When you push on the pedal, it bottoms out in the master cylinder when it touches the floor. It literally touches the floor, the firewall itself. Uh, like when you push down on the pedal, you push it all the way down, right there is bottoming out, okay? It's bottoming out in the master cylinder there. So I got the, I got a full stroke on the pedal and I haven't got to modify the firewall. So that's uh, another big thing I wanted to get out in our way. Um, you know, stuff like this you got to get figured out. And I had to spend a bit of time at it to get it figured out. And I greatly appreciate everybody who uh, chimed in and helped out. And uh, I'm just going to be a little quick one. Just wanted to show you that I got this all straightened away. I'm going to weld that all up later and leave it alone for now. And uh, I know that I got it all figured out. It's just got to be all fine-tuned and put in place. But uh, that's it for this one. I hope the tips were good. And until next time. Six one ratio. Sure.